Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Onward. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you guys should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't want to know anything about the film, and you want to go in completely blind, then it's just come back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? It worked! The can is huge! And the van is huge! And you're... Oh no. So Onward stars Tom Holland as Ian Lightfoot and Chris Pratt as Barley Lightfoot. So Onward is set in a suburban fantasy world where two brothers set out on a quest to discover whether magic is still out there. And so we have Onward. So guys, I had high hopes going into Onwards, mainly because this is the newest movie by Pixar, who for the last 20 plus years have wild some of the best animated movies ever made. And I wanted to see if Pixar could knock it out of the park again with a new IP. So in a nutshell, I would say that Pixar has done it again. I really enjoyed Onward. Whether it's following a colony of ants, monsters in a scare factory, or a bunch of mythical creatures in a fantasy world, Pixar has this uncanny ability of putting you in these strange new worlds and making them feel full of life, believable, and relatable as well. And Pixar can have the best animators or best composers, but this movie would completely fall apart if you didn't buy the relationship between Ian and Barley. Tom Holland and Chris Pratt prove once again why they are two of the most sought out after and most loved actors in Hollywood. Their characters separately are likeable, entertaining and relatable as well, but it's when these two characters come together is when they're at the best. They proved it in Infinity War with their limited screen time, and they've proved it once again in Onward. These two have great chemistry together. You don't doubt for a second that these two have known each other for all their lives, and that they have a great relationship. And it just really makes me look forward to seeing Tom Holland and Chris Pratt work together again. Another great thing about Pixar is that they always manage to bring so much character and personality to things that seem to have little to no personality or character in the first place. Whether it be a giant bird, a little cockroach, or just a pair of legs. Honestly, this is the point where I thought Onward was going to lose me. Because honestly, I thought it was just going to be very weird and very distracting just having a character who's basically just a pair of severed legs. But no, Pixar hits the nail on the head again and makes it feel very integral and purposeful to have this in the movie. And I know I've touched on it before, but I really love the world that Pixar created for Onward. Onward kind of reminded me a lot of Will Smith's movie, Bright, where it's basically a modern fantasy hybrid world. But I'd say the main difference between the two is that, oddly enough, Onward's world seems more believable. And honestly, even though I quite liked Bright, this is obviously much better. Though realistically, one of the main reasons people go see Pixar movies is for the grand emotional climax of the film. Near enough, every single Pixar movie has one of these. And Onward, again, does not fail in this department. But to be honest, the ending of this film went a little bit differently than I thought it was going to go. And honestly, I don't think it's a story that most movies tend to tell. And I just really, really love this ending. But also, besides that, the comedy is definitely another reason why people see Pixar films. And again, the comedy is very much on point. You can definitely tell which jokes are for the kids and which jokes are for the adults. And it just really makes it feel like Onward is for everyone. Honestly, guys, Onward is a great animated movie. However, though, compared to other Pixar movies, I'd say it's very mid-tier. That's not to necessarily say that Onward is a bad Pixar movie. It's just that movies like The Incredibles, Toy Story, they're in a whole other league of their own. And it's probably also due to the fact that they've been out for like 10, 15 years plus, and we have a lot of nostalgia based around them. So probably in 2035, we'll look back on Onward and probably say the same things that we've been saying about Toy Story for years. But until that day comes, Onward, I'd say, is a very mid-tier Pixar movie. Overall, guys, I really, really liked Onward. I wouldn't say that necessarily exceeded my expectations, but I did have really high hopes going into Onward, and my expectations were definitely met. It's got a lot of heart, great characters, very funny, very emotional, just an all-round great Pixar movie. But now, as for everyone else, you guys should go and see it. Honestly, it doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, I would definitely recommend that you should go see this one, because Onward, like most other Pixar movies, has got something for everyone, and it's definitely one that you guys need to check out. Okay. Okay, guys, that's my review of Onward. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's your favourite Pixar film? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!